our team, and that was Alex Bergeon. Uh, he threw 19 innings, had a 3.6 ERA, and uh, struck out 18 guys. So 18 Ks in 19 innings, it's a pretty good ratio. And he also batted 250 as well. And a lot of, you know, there's several pitchers in this tournament that don't hit. So good for him. Ball two on the outside corner, 2-2 two -two count. He also hit two home runs in the first game yesterday. Dyson Cassidy unable to check his swing and first out of the game for the Team Quebec. Player, number two, Kurt McCann. So if you're unfamiliar with the playoff setup, the teams seeded three through six have a single life, while the top two teams, the Osgood, sorry, excuse me, Owen Sound Selects and Tavistock Merchants have a double life and have to lose twice before the championship final to be eliminated. So that's a pop out to shortstop Xavier Dano for the second the out second of the inning. Number 10, Eli Bratany. So the Ottawa Valley Chiefs hoping to push one across here with Bratney at the plate. And Austin Eady still standing on second after a leadoff single and a stolen base. Pitch is down and away for strike two swinging. 0-2 count. Bergeon hoping to get Team Quebec to the sticks here. Bratney spoils that one. Stay alive in the count. Here's the 0-2 pitch on the way. Bratney does a great job of spoiling that one as well. down and away for ball one. One-two count to Bratney. Austin Eady still on second base after a single and a stolen base. That one's just inside. Two-two count to Bratney. And he gets him swinging strike three to end the top half of the first. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on base. Team Quebec coming to bat.
leading off for Quebec. So we're back here in the bottom of the first inning. The Ottawa Valley Chiefs were held scoreless in the top of the first. Pitching for Ottawa Valley is number 15, Corey Baldwin. Ottawa Valley product. Lives in the Kempville area. His catcher is Sam Bowman. Another gorgeous day in beautiful downtown Carp here, Adam. Yes, indeed. It's a little hot and humid. We've got breeze, though, keeping us cool. Tristan Breton is leading off for Team Quebec. He's the right fielder. Pour ceux et du Québec, comme on dirait en bon français, tabarouette qui fait chaud. Je peux pas vous dire ce que ma grand-mère dirait, pas approprié, mais peu importe, il fait chaud ici aujourd'hui. Gagnant de cette partie avance. Le perdant, leur tournoi est fini. Alors l'équipe du Québec espère de continuer. Lanceur Corey Baldwin et au bâton Tristan Breton. Sera suivi par Edouard Aslin et Zachary Dutil. Le prochain match pour le gagnant de ce match et contre euh, le Saskatchewan à 19 h Bien fait, Adam. Trois balles, une prise. Trois balles, deux prises. Au frappeur, Tristan Breton. Baldwin looking to get the first out of the inning here. Throws ball four outside to Tristan Breton. Gets things started. Here in the bottom half of the first for Team Quebec. We're more than happy to play some small ball. It was Ney was an all-star infielder after the qualifying round, having batted 533 with eight hits, four RBIs, and five runs scored. Chiefs expecting the bunt. As they swinging, Tristan Breton. The hit and run was on. Coach Naïve Doucette, always with something up his sleeve and giving a sign to his players. 0-1 pitch on the way. Edouard Azlain. Une deuxième prise. Baldwin gets a sign from Bowman. Rocks, fires. Runner going and as Lane fouls that one off. Team Quebec, Adam, known for their ability to manufacture runs and their stellar defense. Yeah, they're a speedy team that plays great D and are well coached. I know I've said this a few times throughout the week, but Coach Jean-Yves Doucette, well regarded in Canadian softball circles as a brilliant softball strategist and great teacher of the fundamentals. And he's brought along a young team from our understanding here, Ryan. A lot of fellas that aren't necessarily even in their 20s in an under 23 competition. Non, j'ai eu une bonne conversation avec euh, Alex Barjon après leur partie hier soir, Adam, puis une autre balle. Puis il me disait que je lui ai posé la question quel âge avait Charles Leclerc, qui a seulement 17 ans, et Alex, seulement 19 ans. Il m'a dit que ça fait longtemps que les gars, ils jouent ensemble. Puis l'esprit d'équipe est merveilleuse. Ledois as they pushes that one to second. Ratney makes the out at first and Tristan Breton advances. The catcher, the receiver, the numero 10 up now. Number 49, Zachary Dutil. 
Bring Zachary Ducille to the plate. Who, as mentioned, was the all-star catcher in the qualifying round. Gives Bowman a little tap to say hello, and here we go. Ball outside. Catchers, even when they're on opposite teams, recognize the hard work that goes on behind the plate, especially on a hot, sweaty day like this. A little thing we like to call the catcher's union, Adam. Certainly a lot of respect shown between players at the position. Now, what does one need to qualify for this union? I caught approximately, I believe, six games last year. Could I get my union card, Ryan? I'll have to take that back and see what the final verdict is. 2-0 and oh here. Corey Baldwin not happy with home plate umpire Andrew Godin's zone thus far on the outside corner to the right-handed batters. Three balls, no strikes. Zachary Ducille working the count. Trois balles, une prise. Here's a 3-1 pitch. That would back off Bowman's glove and into the fence for strike two. Three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch driven into the gap and left. Zutil in there for a stand-up double and Tristan Breton comes home to score the first run of the game for Team Quebec. That one was on a rope, Adam. Yes, he smacked that right to the gap in left center and looks like he'll be bringing his elbow the pad stop. over to Coach Yannick. Number 40, Xavier Dano. Xavier Dano bâton. Zachary Dutile au deuxième. Un retiré. Baldwin gets that pitch on the outside corner for strike one. is up and out for ball three. Trois balles, une prise. Pour le frappeur, Xavier Dano, le lancer. Quatrième balle. The picture, le lanceur, le numéro 39. Number 39, Alex Bergeron. Alex Bergeron, bâton, Adam. Avec un coureur au premier but et un coureur au deuxième. Il est frappé par Alex. Zachary Dutil va compter du deuxième but et. Xavier Dano, Xavier Dano, excuse, avance au troisième. So first pitch swing there by, by Argent. Not sure if Team Quebec's picked up on something, but they've taken a few healthy cuts at the first pitch here. Nathan Coron. Another first pitch swing, pushed into left. Collins makes the catch, throws home, not in time to get the speedy Deneau. 
just deep enough. So sack fly RBI for Nathan Caron. Two outs. Alex Bergeron. Au premier but. Number 71, Sammy Paré. Une question aux les commandes par Danny Viel. Bonjour Danny. Depuis la naissance, mon beau, depuis la naissance. Avec un nom comme Brian Clare, irlandais. Mais Très il parle, irlandais. Mais il parle un bon français. Cole Hodges makes the scoop at one. Steps on first for the third out of the inning. After one complete, the score is Team Quebec three, Ottawa Valley Chiefs zero. So as we can see, out in the wind, blowing in from right here at the top of the second inning. So Cole Hodges, the first baseman, is going to lead things off for the Ottawa Valley Chiefs. Hodges has good speed, can hit the ball well, and he'll be looking to get the Valley Chiefs a base runner so they can get on the board down 3 nothing after one complete. Hodges has had a strong defensive performance at first for the Chiefs. Pulls that one just foul. Thought maybe it was still on the line when it was scooped, but home plate umpire Andrew Godden says otherwise. 1-1 one, one count. The four umpire system here, Ryan, for playoff Saturday at CARP. The U23 Men's Softball Canada Championship. We've got Andrew Godin uh, from New Brunswick, who did spend some time in the Ottawa area and officiated in Greater Ottawa Fastball League and other area leagues in his time here, but he moved back to his native New Brunswick. David Harrington is umpiring on first. Jean-Claude Boisvert is on second base. And Malcolm Murray, all the way from Alberta, on third. So... Hodges draws a walk to lead the things off. Fielder, we'll see what Coach Kevin Collins Ready decides to do now. here. Number Hodges nine. certainly has the speed to Hudson steal Cohen. second on his own. But Zachary Dutil with quite the arm behind home plate as well. So, Yeah, he does have a cannon, Ryan. We've seen that demonstrated a few times. <laughs> Alex Bergeon with the first pitch strike on the outside corner. Collins has had a decent showing here at the Nationals. Not trying to do too much, pushing a lot of balls to the left side. Kind of like that, and there we go, advancing the runner. The center fielder, Le Vautijan de Saint, the numero set, number seven, Walker 
Lyons. Walker Lyons has played two positions here. He's played uh, at the tournament. He's played catcher, catching for Kurt McCann. And when McCann's not pitching, he's generally uh, out in center field. And he's in center field today as Corey Baldwin had the start. Surprisingly, Adam, the Valley Chiefs and the Ottawa, or sorry, in the Saskatchewan Delisle Pride, the only two teams without an all-star during the qualifying round, despite some good showings. Kurt McCann, several home runs, and did some pitching. I would imagine the awards committee, which consists of Sophie Bedard from Softball Canada, Stephanie Bouchy from the host committee, and Hélène Rivet, our scorekeeper extraordinaire here in CARP, that committee was the one uh, of three women that made the decision on the All-Stars, and I, I think their job was tough. Tough decisions for sure. A lot of great performances by a lot of great athletes here this week. And Lyons goes down swinging. For the second out of the inning. As we stated, Quebec did have three All-Stars from the qualifying round. Brings up Charles Beaulieu with Hodges on second. He looks at strike one on the outside corner. Chops that one into the ground for strike two. Nice gesture as well by the selection committee honoring the, the only bat boy here at the tournament for the Owen Sound Selects. He was a keener though, Ryan, and continues to be a keener. That one's ripped to second. Good scoop on to first to get the speedy bull year. Record the third out of the inning. A nice play there by Edouard Lang. Through the top half of the second, score remains Team Quebec 3, Ottawa Valley Chiefs 0. So back with you in the bottom of the second, Team Quebec is up 3-0 on the host Ottawa Valley Chiefs. Felix Isabel, the third baseman at the plate. Felix was suivi par Vincent Godet. Le premier frappeur pour l'équipe du Québec, Tristan Breton. Un but sur balle. Et compter le premier point pour 
l'équipe du Québec. Deux balles. Which is called a ball. Three no. Corey Baldwin having a little trouble with control here to start things off, Ryan. He's this is his third walk after in his eight batters. That was a four pitch walk. Number eighty nine. PA announcer a little ahead of himself. Vincent Godet au bâton. Avec Félix et Isabelle au premier but. Ils ont les signes du de coach. Jean-Yves Dusset de lancer. Bun, spun back into foul territory on the second bounce. Unlucky for Vincent Godet. He probably would have had a an infield single. With his speed, no doubt, he's a quick, very quick kid down the base pass. So here's the 0-1 pitch. Tyson Cassidy on to first. For the first out. Felix Isabel au deuxième. Dyson Cassidy looked to be about eight feet away from the batter when Vincent Godet made contact there. I've seen him throughout the week creep in, creep in, creep in in a bunt situation. Obviously a fearless third baseman, not afraid to go in and pick up that bunt. Tristan Breton au bâton. In prise. Deux prises. Pitch is up for ball one. Une balle deux prises au frappeur Tristan Breton. Over to our right, Ryan, is Scott Searle, the head coach of Team Ontario, which will be competing at the Canada Summer Games in a couple of weeks down in the Niagara region. I would assume that Scott's here scouting Team Quebec, so he knows his opponent going into that week-long tournament. Which is account full to three and two. Baldwin loses them. Ball four. The second baseman, the Joueur du deuxième B, le numéro huit, number eight, Edouard Asselin. That's two walks for Breton. Bringing up Edouard Asselin, the second baseman, with one out and two on. Grounded to second in his first at bat, and Eli Bratney made a great play to get him. First pitch swinging. Edouard Léon Bâton, une prise, deux prises. Croix au premier et deuxième but. Seulement un retiré. Popped 
up to shallow shortstop position is what we'll go with there for the second out. The catcher, Lorenzo Vara, Manivero Carapna, number 49, Zachary Jutil. Jutil doubled in the first inning to score Breton, who is on base for the first run of the game. He's now up with men on first and second and two out. Strike one to Dutil. Zachary Dutil a bien, bien frappé dans la première manche. Double. Compté premier point pour l'équipe du Québec. Deux prises. One to two count here on Dutil. Baldwin trying to get out of the inning. Une balle deux prises. Change up popped up to the pitcher and the Chiefs are out of the inning. So Team Quebec strands two and don't score any. After two complete innings, it's a Keep no Quebec runs, three, no hits, the Ottawa Valley no Chiefs, no score. So top of the third inning here Sam with Equipe Bowman. Quebec up 3 nothing. We've got Sam Bowman, the catcher. He and his big red beard usually catch for Corey Baldwin. They've played together for several years. First pitch is... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, you go right ahead. Look at me blathering on. First offering by Baljean was up high for ball one. That one's in there for a strike. Pushes the count to one and one. By Argent avec la, le lancé. Une balle, deux prises. One ball, two strikes on catcher Sam Bowman. That one's down and away for ball two. Two two pitch. Pushed foul by Bowman. Here's a two two pitch again. Down for ball three. Down, 
Three, two pitch. Ball four, misses outside. I think Alex wanted that pitch, but didn't get the call. That's the second walk of the game for the Valley Chiefs. That brings up Edie. He's the leadoff hitter for the Chiefs. He's single to leave the game to start the game off and stole second, but he was stranded there. Let's see what they do here with Bowman on first. Edie skies that one up over the Team Quebec dugout. Here's a second offering from Bayer Jean. Ball in the dirt. Bowman needs to be careful there at first. It's it, as we've said. He's got a cannon behind the dish, and Bowman getting a pretty big jump there off first. Doesn't want to get caught in the soft gravel. One two count to Edie. And Bowman on first. Valjean sets, delivers. Ball's pushed up the middle. Pass by Aljon. In for a single. And Bowman wisely stays put at second. In third baseman, the joueur du troisième but. Le numéro size, number 16. Most of the Dyson. young men at the tournament Cassidy. here this weekend, Adam, in the outfield, have excellent arms and are not afraid to show them off if given the opportunity. And base running, for the most part, has been wisely done by the runners and not getting thrown out. The outfield's in good shape too. They've put a lot of work in. The organizing committee led by Jeff Latham, Terry Boyd, and a bunch of other guys whose names I'll forget if I try to list them all. They've done an excellent job in um, making the grass green and soft and almost like a golf course out there so the bounces are nice and true even in the outfield. It makes it a lot easier for us outfielders to field those balls. I was a bit surprised here that uh, Cassidy maybe didn't lay down a bunt in a classic bunting situation here, Ryan. But uh, clearly, Coach Collins has given him the green light to swing away. Whoops, looks like Yutseel took that one hard on that foul back. Certainly give you a better chance if you can to score two, if you can move the runners up to second and third with one out. Yeah, and it's in the, in the two hole, hitting in the two hole with your three, four, and five hitters coming up, you know, giving those guys a chance to cash those runs would be helpful. But, you know, every team's got their own strategy. Some teams don't like giving up the out with the sacrifice bunt. So I'm sure Kevin is a real data analytics guy. Ça paraît que la fausse balle a frappé Zachary du Cid dans. Mais dans la jambe, peut-être. Dans le genou. Les coachs l'ont vérifié. Ça a l'air que tout va bien. He continuera ici. Two pitches to Cassidy here. He looks at ball one in the dirt. Again, Bowman getting a big jump off second. It's just itching to throw down. We saw that earlier today. You gotta be careful because if a catcher's got a real great arm and you take too big a lead and take your eye off the ball, you could give an out. Two balls, two strikes. I wonder if Tutsil picked that one clean if he would have thrown it. It looked like he was ready to fire it down, but the ball bounced in the dirt. That was Kobe Clark from Team Saskatchewan, Delisle Pride, who, that one's ripped into right by Dyson Cassidy. Bowman chugging home. He's in there safely. Austin Edie advances to third on the throw. Cassidy cashes him. 
Why bunt when you can drive them in the fun way? True. So just to finish that point, Kobe Clark caught Joel Nash of Team Newfoundland getting too big a jump off second through behind him and ended the threat. Newfoundland had runners at first and second and it ended the inning for them. And so. I'd also mention they had all-star third baseman Mark Stack at the plate there too, who's a threat to cash at any time. So small mistakes can lead to big consequences and that certainly did deflate a Newfoundland rally. And as we've said, Zachary Dutille, more than happy to showcase the wing and throwing out several runners this week. Looks like we have a pinch runner entering the game for the Valley Chiefs here in the third inning. Pinch running for Brady the McKinney. Ottawa Valley team, number 12, Red Metal Dues, Brady McCann. It is Brady McCann. Now batting. Who I suspect will run for Cassidy and then the Cassidy will re-enter. Number two, Kurt McCann. So Brady's in to run. Older brother Kurt's at the plate. They've shrunk the lead to three to one. Big, big jump there by Brady McCann on first. Pretty good breeze kicking up from left field here. Swirling some dust around on the infield. That one's ripped by Kurt McCann. Brady McCann going to third. They would have had him if they could have come up with it, but yeah, one uh, hopped into Felix Isabel. And it was a nice toss by uh, by Breton from right field. And if it would have been, you're right, Ryan, if it would have been fielded cleanly by Isabel, I think they would have had Brady McCann out at third. But now we've got men on second and third. The game is now a one run game, a three to two. And we've got Eli Brotney at plate to try and at least tie this up or maybe even put it, the Chiefs ahead by one. The second baseman, the joueur du deuxième but, le numéro 10, number 10, Eli Bratany. Bratany pushes that one into left. Coach Collins is sending. McCann coming can. home. Oh, Bratany, oh, Bratany slips, but oh, he's able to get up and get into second safely. He tripped and fought, he tripped and fell coming around between first and second. The old classic blue as sidewall, yard sale, whatever term you want to use, managed to scramble and get up and still make it into second safely. That's a lucky break for the Chiefs. The throw came home from left field. And the throw down to second. Still not in time to get the speedy Bratney after he got up and composed himself. So now it's 4-3 for the Chiefs. As they take the lead, there's nobody out here in the top of the third. The Chiefs are rallying. And we're, there's a change here. Looks like Charles Leclerc might be entering the game. We'll see. Yeah, Coach Jean-Yves Set is uh, discussing with home plate, and, uh, home plate umpire Andrew Godin, who he told me bef before a game earlier, despite his last name, is unilingual English. He doesn't speak French. So hopefully Jean-Yves gave him the instructions in English, or Andrew might be a bit confused. Yeah, you're absolutely right. In comes Charles Leclerc. So Charles Leclerc, the 17-year-old from Team Quebec, he's thrown well this week and used his change quite effectively. Malheureusement, Alex Bayergeon, pas capable de répliquer le succès qu'il a eu. Pour la plupart, toute la semaine, les Chiefs ont compté quatre points cette manche et Coach Jaïb Dusset décide de faire un changement. Charles Leclerc, le nouveau lanceur pour l'équipe du Québec. Coach Jaïb elected not to use the designated player in this game. So with a nine-man lineup, that's a true substitution. So Alex Bejean will no longer be in the batting lineup, which is a bit of a loss for Team Quebec because his bat's been hot. Certainly is. He's hit the ball quite well and in the five spot. Charles Leclerc, when he has batted this tournament, has been lower in the lineup. 
not in there for his bat. He's in there for that right arm and we'll see if that affects the game at any point here, but Chiefs still in business and that starts Cole Hodges out. One strike. Strikes in there on the outside corner. 0-2 count. Still none out here for the Valley Chiefs. That one's pushed. Down at the first baseman, Semi Paris. Makes the out, looks at second, but play happened so quickly that none of the Quebec middle infield able to cover and Bratney back into second. Left fielder Hudson Collins at the dish. Looks at a ball on the outside. Collin pulls that one through the hole. Throw coming home. And a great throw by Tristram Breton. To get Bratney at home. Zachary Dutil. Crowd that throw and applied the tag to Bratney. Some aggressive base running there by the Chiefs. Sometimes that pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Ball was hit pretty hard. Breton had already showcased his arm. Trying to get Brady McCann at third, but gets Bratney at home there. Walker Lyons at the plate. Runner goes. Might have had him if they could have held on to the throw, but it, it would have been close, I agree. Some very aggressive. Collins in with the stolen base. Yeah, some aggressive base running here by the Chiefs. Two out, two strikes, Walker Lyons, Leclerc. It's him to roll over on that one, pulls it foul. Still two strikes. Well, Charles Leclerc essaie de retirer le troisième joueur de l'équipe d'Ottawa Valley Chiefs. So the Valley Chiefs scored four runs. They had five singles and managed to put a four spot up on the board to take a 4-3 lead over Team Quebec after two and a half innings.
So leading off the bottom of the third for Equipe Quebec, down four to three, is Xavier Dano, the shortstop. Corey Baldwin still pitching for the Ottawa Valley Chiefs. First pitch down in the zone for ball one. Xavier Dano, Charles Leclerc and Nathan Caron. Nice defensive play by Brodney there for sure. So now, given the substitution last inning, defensively, Charles Leclerc is in now to hit in the five hole for Equipe Quebec. Collins tracks that down, throws it into Trevor Beaulieu, who sends it back to Corey Baldwin. Full count on Leclerc with one out, bottom of the third. Collins. <laughs> The left fielder, the Voltigeur de Gauche, the numero 73, number 73, Nathan Caron. <laughs> In there for his body, slaps a single past third base, and Team Quebec are in business. Ah, good for him. Prove us wrong. I have no problem with that. Got some speed on the pass, too, so. See if he goes. He's got his sliding mitt on. Either that or he's baking some muffins. It's one or the other. Rounds to first. Cole Hodges goes to Bollier at second for the force. Caron. It's up at first on the fielder's choice. The first baseman, the watch for me, the numero 71, number 71, Sammy Harry. Sammy Pere went the same way down the first base line in his previous at bat, grounded out, unassisted to the first baseman. This watching Ottawa Valley Chiefs. A third pitcher, O'Halloran. He seems to be hobbling in his protective duties down there. From my understanding, now, this was talk in the beer garden, and that's always to be taken with a grain of salt, but I did hear that O'Halloran may be of injured himself in one of the games and may not be available. Now, I don't, that's not official, but. Uh, by the way, he's walking there. Oh, 
shy. Two outs. Bradney. Tires aside. Shy on the boards. Tires aside. After three complete, Adam. The summary, no score to 3-3 for the Ottawa Valley Chiefs. The Team Quebec didn't score a run. They had a hit, and they left a man on base on that inning. So we're going to the top of the fourth, where Trevor Beaulieu will lead things off for Ottawa Valley Chiefs. So leading off the top of the fourth for the Ottawa Valley Chiefs is the shortstop, Trevor Beaulieu. He grounded out to second in his first at-bat. Chiefs are up four to three here. Charles Leclerc is in, relieving Alex Bejean. He opens things up with the ball outside. Ryan, test your mic here. There's been people saying that your mic might have trouble. So I think I figured out the issue with my mic, Adam, is I'm on a headset, and my microphone is actually on an arm. And if I move the arm back up, versus when the mic is nearer to my mouth. So thank apologies goodness, for that. Thank goodness tech support was here to figure yes. that out. And thank you for the comments, everybody. I'm now sure some of you probably uh, rather enjoyed that last half inning. That one skied behind the stands here and won't quite make it to the splash pad. Pour ceux et celles qui n'écoutaient pas la dernière partie entre l'équipe de la Terre-Neuve et l'équipe de Saskatchewan, les joueurs du Québec se reposaient un peu derrière nous. Et il y a un splash pad et il y a une fausse balle qui est allée sur le splash pad. Un des entraîneurs de l'équipe du Québec est allé chercher la balle et en faisant ça, s'est retrouvé au milieu du splash pad et un des joueurs, gentiment, est allé peser le bouton, essayer de commencer le splash pad sur son coach, malheureusement pour le joueur. Il a pas eu de succès, mais euh, quand même pas mal drôle et comme je vous dis, l'esprit d'équipe de l'équipe du Québec est top notch, là, il est toujours en, en bonne forme. J'ai appris un nouveau mot, là. Splash pad. Merci. Splash pad, Merci. oui. Sur le Google Translate, ça dit splash pad et splash pad. C'est ça. Alors, Sam Bowman, le receveur des Ottawa Valley Chiefs, maintenant. Je ne veux pas dire le nom, mais j'ai demandé, j'ai posé la question hier à un des joueurs. Comment on dit strike out en français? Puis le joueur m'a dit, ben. On dit strike out. Wow, oui. Charles Leclerc misses inside. I think he wanted that one. Pushes the count to three and one in Bowman's favor. Bowman walked in his first plate appearance. Scored on a, a Dyson Cassidy single. Merci, Jean-Denis. C'est ça que j'ai dit au aux joueurs, si c'était juste 
un retrait sur trois prises et le joueur ne m'a pas m'a dit que OK, oui, mais nous autres, on, on dit juste strike out. Alors, les deux, ça fonctionne. Un peu comme le parking. Qui est plutôt du français de la France, au stationnement. Charles Leclerc essaie de gagner ici. Une bonne bataille avec Sam Bowman et il réussit. De retirer. The right fielder, the voltigeur de droite, le numéro 3, number 3, Austin Eady. That brings up Austin Eady. He's two for two today, Ryan. He uh, singled in the first inning, he singled in the third inning, and he scored a run when Kurt McCann drove him in on that four-run rally that the Chiefs had in the third. Busy at the plate and on the base pass so far today, but... Hasn't had to make any plays in right field yet. According to the unofficial scorecard. Always interesting to note, Adam, that as I said, Charles Leclerc, 17 years of age. You give him another five to eight years and some added weight and muscle, and a lot of these young men are going to be dominant pitchers for quite some time. One-two count here on Austin Eady. The foul misses inside for ball two. You get some swing at strike three to retire the top half of the inning. So after three and a half, the Auto Valley Chiefs are up four to three over Equipe Québec. Coming to bat for Equipe Québec in the bottom of the fourth will be Félix Isabel, Vincent Goudet, and Tristan Breton. So you're looking at a shot of the new scoreboard that was built by the volunteer committee just for this event. Hopefully we'll be able to use that in games going forward. It's old school style manual scoreboard with plates being changed in and out for every inning. Nice hot sweaty job today on a day like this, Ryan. Leading off for Quebec in the bottom of the fourth is Felix Isabel, the third baseman for Equipe Quebec. Corey Baldwin still throwing for the Chiefs. He's given up three hits and walked four so far with all three runs from Team Quebec coming in the first inning rally. Missed with a change up in the dirt on that one. 1-0 count. That one's in there for a strike. One and one.
Félix Isabelle, but sur balle dans la deuxième manche. Qui avançait au deuxième but, puis c'était tout. Félix Isabelle ducks out of the way of that ball over his head. Drives that one foul down the left field line. Quick shout out to some listeners down in Napanee, Ryan. I've been informed that Jamie and Joseph Mick and Corey and Gavin and Connor Brooks are watching down in Napanee between their games. So good luck, guys, in your game tonight at 6 p.m. Full count here on Isabelle. And certainly. Big hello to the Brooks and the Mix down in Napanee and having themselves a tournament at the U20 Canadians being hosted in Napanee. Jamie was a key member of the volunteer committee here, but obviously had his commitments to his son Joseph's team down there as an assistant coach for the Napanee Express. That one slapped out to left. Up and over the wall for a solo shot for Félix Isabel. Seemed to get hung up in the wind there and just floated, floated, and floated out. The wind's swirling somewhat. I wouldn't say the wind's blowing out, but it just hung up and went over the left field fence. Hudson Collins didn't quit on it, did his best, but unable to catch that when it just dropped over. Seemed to be having trouble tracking it, and it just kept going. That ties the game, Ryan, at four. Unfortunately, Adam, I, I think a fan might have lost their beer. Well, have them bring the empty cup to the committee or empty can to the committee, and we'll see what we can do. The center fielder, number two, Jean de Saint, le numéro trois, number three, Vincent Godet. Alors, après le court circuit par Félix Isabelle, très bien frappé. Ottawa Valley Chiefs, 4. Équipe Québec, 4. Et Vincent Godet utilise sa vitesse après l'erreur par le joueur au troisième but, Dyson Cassidy. And Team Québec, Adam here, as we've said, they're pesky, always manufacturing runs, giving themselves a chance. No outs and a runner on first. Yep. Breton's walked twice. He did score in the first inning from that result of that walk. See if Godet goes here. He is lightning fast. Gets a jump, has a look back. Ball one. If anyone's able to pick Coach Jean-Yves Doucette's signs, I tell you. And... Godet in there easily with the stolen base. The old fake bunt steal trick worked there. He is a wizard with his hands giving the signs to his players. Vincent Godet asking for them again. We'll see what he's dialed up for this pitch. That one's pushed to the right side. First baseman Cole Hodges steps on the bag. Three unassisted. And Vincent Godet advances to third. Second baseman, the Schwartz Dersian Bees, the numero eight, number eight, Edouard Esling. Aslan's grounded out and popped up to the shortstop in his two previous at-bats. He'll be looking to put something in play to score the speedy uh, Godet from third base. Yeah, 
Wouldn't be surprised if something does get by just enough here that Godet chances it and tries to score if there's a pass ball or wild pitch of any sort. He does have the speed to do it. Not on that one. Another favorable bounce. Corey Baldwin struggling to dial in that changeup. That one's hit back right up the middle. Cashes Godet from third. And has Lay in there with an RBI single. The catcher, Le Reservoir. Le numero 49, number 49, Zachary. So a keep Quebec regains the lead now, 5-4 after that RBI single by Edouard Asselin. We now have Zachary Dutille, the catcher at the plate, with one out, and Asselin on first. That one's in there for a strike. See Kurt McCann, he's in the dugout with his glove on, pitching into it, ready to go. We'll see what happens if Baldwin isn't able to retire Zachary Dutille. That one up and over. Big bounce off Juanita Street and into the shrubs again. Zachary Dutille hitting the foot. Take to, he'll get first base. The shortstop, Barakour, the numero 40, number 40, Xavier Dano. So two on for Dano. He walked in the first inning and lined out to the first uh, second baseman. And a nice play by Eli Brodney. Still just the one out, Adam, and Baldwin trying to get out of trouble. Ball high. Hammers that one out to right. And just as we had talked about Austin Eady not having been busy, does a great job getting that liner and bringing it in quickly to hold the runners. Number seven, Charles Leclerc. So that brings Charles Leclerc up with two out now and two men on. He came in on the in the third inning to replace the starting pitcher, Alex Berdion. <laughs> Alex, Alex Bayergeon. Merci. Checks his swing. Maybe some room there. Not quite just enough. Off the team Quebec dugout. Leclerc's one for one. He singled in his first plate appearance in the third and stranded. I remember correctly, I think he slapped it down the third baseline. Is that correct, Adam? Yeah, that sounds right to me. So Dyson Cassidy sitting back a little further than he made normally to start at least, but will creep in. That one gets up and away, and they might have him at third. No, he's in there safely. Just under the tag. Good bounce to Bowman, but the speedy as lane gets in under the tag. Alors l'équipe du Québec. Il croit au deuxième et troisième but. Charles Leclerc au bâton. Une balle, une prise. L'équipe du Québec mène 5 à 4 en ce moment. Leclerc fouls that one back. 1 et 2. So Baldwin trying to get out of trouble here. A one-two pitch on the way to Charles Leclerc. Down in the zone for ball two. Ball 
three up and out. Umpire Andrew Godin doing some fancy dancing there to get out of the way so catcher Sam Bowman could pick up that ball. Never easy an umpire to know which way to scamper, but he got out of the way there, and Baldwin delivers a 3-2 pitch. LeClaus slaps that one into left. Collins with the throw home. Not in time. Two runs will score as Edouard Eslay and Zachary Dutille come around to score on the single by Charles Leclerc. Je me sens un peu mal là en ce moment. Au début, j'ai dit que Charles Leclerc n'était pas dans le line-up pour son bâton. Puis tout de suite, quand j'ai dit ça, c'est son deuxième frappé. Et l'équipe du Québec mène 7 à 4. Bien frappé euh, par Charles. Il a fait la même chose que la première fois. Il a bien poussé la balle au côté gauche. Collins n'a pas pu lancer pour retirer Zachary Dutil qui court bien. Always nice to see a catcher who can run, Adam. It's uh, a rare bird, but essentially everybody in this lineup for Équipe Québec can run well. It's very true. I was once a catcher, Adam, who could run, and now I'm just a catcher. Catches up to the best of us, Ryan. So Caron fouls that one off. Trying to keep things going here, and Baldwin trying to shut things down, and he does. Third pitch swinging. Out confirmed at first. After four complete, Adam, what do we have? Well, it's seven to four for Equipe Quebec. The uh, Equipe Quebec scored four runs. On two hits. Four runs, three hits, one So now, after four complete, we're going to the top of the fifth with Dyson Cassidy coming to bat for the Chiefs.
So we go to the top of the fifth here. The Ottawa Valley Chiefs coming to bat. Dyson Cassidy is at the plate. Dyson is one for two. He had a single and an RBI in the third. Struck out in his first appearance. Now would be a good time, I think, uh, Ryan, to mention our marquee sponsor, Alterna Savings. Big supporter of this event here, the Softball Canada Under-23 Men's National Fast Pitch Championship here in Carp, Ontario. It wouldn't have been possible without all our great sponsors, but especially Alterna, who stepped up to the plate in a large way to make sure that this event could be feasible. So thank you, Alterna. Nice of them to stick with us, Adam, through a, a two-year COVID delay. This event originally scheduled for 2020. When Charles Leclerc was, what, 14? Oh, 15. He still might have been good enough to throw. So there's a walk to Cassidy to start things off. The designated plate. Kurt McCann now coming to the plate. The new medal dude, number two, Kurt McCann. McCann's the designated player, but I think there's a good chance we could see him in pitching at some point in this game. Getting hydrated here by our techie wizard, Eric Rosenquist. Thanks for the water, Eric. It's a little mild here in this ice shack that we call an announcer's booth. That one hit hard up the middle. As Lay scoops it, steps on second for the force. The McCann in at first in the fielder's the choice. Number 10, Eli that one's lifted to left. Nathan Caron under it and tires Bratney for the second out of the inning. The first baseman, le joueur du premier but, le numéro 8, number 8, Cole Hodges. Brings Cole Hodges to the bat. Who walked in the second and lined out to first in his second plate appearance in the third inning. Rips that one to short. Xavier Dano. Nice oh. defensive play by Dano there. Scoops it to Edouard and Retires the side quickly enough for Team Quebec. So after four and a half, Team Quebec is leading seven to four. Coming up for Team Quebec in the bottom of the fifth inning will be Samy Paré, Félix Isabelle, and Vincent Godet. So here back in the bottom of the fifth with a keep Quebec coming to the plate, we have a 
Defensive change right up the middle here for the Ottawa Valley Chiefs. Now in to throw is the designated player, Kurt McCann, replacing Corey Baldwin, who threw four innings. Catching, moving in behind the dish from center field is, excuse me, Walker Lyons. And now playing center field out there patrolling the pasture is Kyle Weiss. So coming to bat here with a three-run lead in the bottom of the fifth will be number 71, the first baseman, Samy Paré for Équipe Québec. Samy's grounded out to first and popped up to the second baseman in his previous two plate appearances. McCann and Baldwin have split most of the pitching duties here for the Chiefs during this week, Ryan. Chase O'Halloran did pitch a little bit as well, but McCann and Baldwin seem to have threw the bulk, have thrown the bulk of the innings. I believe Graham Whitehead saw some action last night too. He did, and I would say Corey Baldwin has gotten the majority of that workload and leading off for Quebec. Thrown quite well here at. So for those of you wondering how playoff Saturday works, the winner of this game will advance to the 7 o'clock game against Saskatchewan, and the winner of that will advance to Sunday. The loser's out. The loser of this game will be done for the tournament. Single life bracket that we're playing in right now. Two teams already eliminated, Adam. First team eliminated... Yesterday was the Alvinston Junior Aces in the 6-7 game where they were the 6th seed and the Ottawa Valley Chiefs were the 7th seed and pulled out a bit of an upset, I suppose, if you yep. go by the seedings. And yep. the second team eliminated this morning by the Saskatchewan Delisle Pride was Team Newfoundland Physio and Co. And a good back and forth game, but the Pride... Came out on top and eliminated Team the Newfoundland. Third baseman, the joueur du, du troisième but, le numéro 15, number 15, Félix Isabel. So Isabel comes to bat here, Félix Isabel, the third baseman. He walked in his first plate appearance and smacked a home run that sort of held up in the, in the wind and went out in left field for a solo shot in the fourth. At one point, Ryan, earlier in the tournament, Coach Jean-Yves Doucette actually had Felix playing third base and not hitting, so I guess uh, he's earned his place in the batting lineup now. Tries to get the bunt down there, Adam, unable to, so one strike. Samy Paré au premier but. Felix Isabelle au bâton. Les deux. Réfi avec Coach Jean-Yves Doucette. Kurt McCann avec le lancé. Samy Paré. Yeah, in there easily with the stolen base. Showcasing the wheels. Samy, je crois. Il y a quel âge, Adam, qu'on avait dit 16 ans? Hein? Non, ça c'est euh, Mikael. Oh, ça c'est Mikael, c'est ça. Désolé. On avait juste dit à la dernière manche que l'équipe du Québec ont beaucoup de vitesse, très rapide sur les buts. Bon exemple là par Samy Paré. Change up high for Kurt McCann. Doesn't appreciate that call. Thought it had dropped in there for a strike. McCann lance beaucoup de change up. Son meilleur pitch, je pense. Son meilleur pitch, oui. Adam clearly all over the Google Translate today. <laughs> the Francais de Fitzroy. Strike out there for McCann, his first. Number three, Vincent Godet. So Vincent Godet, he plays center field here for Team Quebec. He sacrificed Bunted in his first plate appearance and then reached on an error, subsequently scored in the fourth. Vincent Godet with the fausse ball. Une prise. We'll see what happens here with the Chiefs if uh, 
They're not able to mount a comeback if... They decide to make any changes and get all their players in. They do have a couple of guys that haven't... Uh, Haven't got in here yet at the tournament, and in the field at least, and we'll see uh, what they decide to do. That one's pushed to right. Got a bit of a late break on that, but did manage to catch it. And Austin Eady has already demonstrated his ability to throw out runners this game, so good decision by Semi Paris to Stay put on second. That brings things to the top here with Tristan Breton up. He walked twice and grounded out to first in his three previous plate appearances. So there's two out. It's Pares on second base. Again, hangs that change up high and out of the zone. That one's also up for McCann. Rise ball misses. Tristan Bertrand. Trois balles, aucune prise. Samy Paré au deuxième but. Quatrième balle. Alors, but sur balle pour Tristan Breton. Son troisième de la game. Edouard Aslin au bâton. Aslin is one for three today. He's got an RBI. Fourth time through here in the fifth inning. That one's pushed to right. The wind might carry it. And it does for a three-run home run by Edouard Aslain. Another one, Ryan, that just seemed to float out. Held up in the wind. Looked like a playable ball. Edie did his best to try and track it. And it just dropped over the fence. It's a tough break for the Chiefs. Puts them in a big hole. Ken has given up a number of home runs this week. The timely one there for Aslin. Bien frappé par Edouard Aslin. Cool sur lui. Peut-être un assisté juste un tout petit peu par le vent. Peu importe. Trois. Ils vont compter sur ce frappé-là. Et l'équipe du Québec mène, Adam, 10 à 4. 10 à 4. Alors, si l'équipe du Québec est capable de compter un autre cette manche, la game sera finie. Zachary Dutil, now is that bat. He's one for two. He had a double that drove in a run popped up to the pitcher and was hit by a pitch in the fourth and eventually came around to score. So as Ryan said en français, Équipe Québec just needs one more run to push this to the seven run rule and complete the game. See our resident Meteorologist Paul Griffith here. Paul, what do you think of the weather today? He's steamy out here. Adam. He's he's seeing seeing it steamy. I believe Paul, you might have referred earlier today that this is a three shirt day. Three shirt day for Paul Griffith. So the wake up weather watcher. Thank you for that, Paul. No gray shirts allowed. So McCann hangs that one. Three balls, no strikes.
Three one count. As McCann finds his own. La carré du Tille. Quatrième balle. La manche continue. The shortstop. Now at court. Kurt McCann asking Chase O'Halloran if he has another gorilla grip for him. This might be a little dry. He can't quite find the grip, but he's hoping. So Aslan's punishment for hitting a home run is that he has to come in and run the bases now for Aslan or for Dutil in the two-out catcher rule. Last available batter, seeing as he scored just before Dutil came to bat. Dans la première manche, Xavier Dano, un but sur balle, il a compté. It's ball low and away. Ken struggling to find the zone here since he's come in for Baldwin. Gave up a single and a stolen base and two quick outs and Two more walks and a home run in there. There's that greasy changeup that McCann has, that club in the bag, and throws it quite a bit. When it works, it works well. Let's see another one here. We do. Fouled off. One two count. Wouldn't shock me if we saw a third one in a row here, Adam. We don't. Pulled foul down the third baseline. So the winner of this game moves on to the 7 o'clock game against the Delisle Saskatchewan Pride. The loser of this game, their tournament's over. We've got an upcoming game this afternoon between the first and second seed in the double life match. The Owen Sound Selects. Another change up from McCann. The Owen Sound Selects will face the Tavistock Merchants for the third time in this event. The winner goes directly to the final. The loser will go to the noon game tomorrow to play the winner of the single elimination bracket. 2-2 pitch. Spoiled once again. Xavier Dano, s'il est capable de faire compter Zachary Dutil, Edouard Aslin, qui court pour Zachary Dutil. La game serait finie. McCann with the pitch. Pulled foul. Pulled foul into what's referred to as Mixburg territory, the place where the Mixburg twins camp out at the annual Gill Reed tournament when it's held here at the Carp Fairgrounds. We haven't been able to hold that for the last couple of years due to COVID and due to the Nationals this year, but certainly we hope to revive that event here at the Carp Fairgrounds. Ken hung that change up. Might have been ball. Nonetheless fouled off by Dano and Xavier Dano. Comme je l'ai dit, essaye de terminer la game s'il est capable ici. McCann with the pitch. Fouled off once again. Xavier Dano staying alive here, Adam. Doing a great job spoiling some of these pitches. Yeah, he's really hanging here and pound, fouling off those change-ups and staying alive, as you said, trying to drive in Aslan, who's running for Dutille to end this game five innings. He's got the speed to score from first. Change up misses up and out. Not sure if McCann wanted that one, but it was certainly out of the zone. Full count, two out, man on first. Should be on the move. Strikes him out. Great battle there between McCann. And Xavier Dano. 
So after five complete, the score is Team Quebec 10, Ottawa Valley Chiefs 4, après cinq manches, manches, manche. excusez-moi, yep. après cinq manches, c'est équipe Team Québec 10 et Ottawa Valley Chiefs 4. Wind blowing in, Adam, and nobody complaining about the breeze at this point in the day. No, not at all. So we've got Hudson Collins leading things off, the left fielder here. Hudson singled, stole a base, and grounded out to the pitcher in his two previous at-bats. Chiefs down 10-4 in the top of the sixth. Charles Leclerc still spinning the ball here for Equipe Quebec. That pitch misses in for ball one. Collins gets jammed and McLeod on to first. One retired. The center fielder, Le Bouchard de Sound. Despite what Donnie Kennedy said on the PA, Walker Lyons is actually the catcher. He did start in center field, but he's now catching for his battery mate all week, Kurt McCann. Lyons struck out in his first appearance and grounded out to third in his second. Not an uncommon thing, Adam, in men's fast pitch that pitchers get comfortable throwing to certain catchers and they will take them with them to tournaments. And we've seen that here with the Chiefs where... Baldwin has been throwing to Bowman and McCann to Lyons. Something you also see at the major league level from time to time. Remember right when Jay's had the knuckleballer pitching for them. He had his own boutique catcher that could handle the knuckleball. Yes, I heard Dickey. The Yankees have that a bit with Garrett Cole and Kyle Gashioka. As Lyons spoils that one into the fence. Pitchers on the Manatee Brewers have any choice in their catcher? Uh, if they do, the manager doesn't care. Privilege of being in charge. Lions doesn't fall for that one. That ball sails out of the zone. I'm sure Coach Kevin Collins would be pleased with any base runner anyway. Walk, hit, 
hit by pitch, start something off. Certainly at this point, just base runners needed. Dano, wow, bobbled through to first, one hopped it there, and nice play by Semi Paris. Yep, nice, nice recovery there by Dano. Didn't panic, took his time, got the ball to first, and as you said, Paré with a nice scoop. Not always easy to gather yourself after that, and he gathered and made a strong enough throw that Paré could dig out of the dirt. And so with two out, Trevor Beaulieu punches one to right field to give the Chiefs a bit of life here in the top of the sixth. That brings Kyle Weiss to bat. He's in the game. He's substituted for Sam Bowman. He's playing center field. Number four, Kyle Weiss. With the Chiefs needing at least six here, Adam. Weiss would normally be squaring in this situation, I think, maybe, or, sorry, there's two outs. Scratch what I just said. Tennis that ball into the tennis court, yeah. Yep. Tennis players wondering what this large green object is and picking it up with her tennis racket. Quite the facilities here at the Carp Fairgrounds. That one on to first and retires aside for the Chiefs in the nice top play. half of the sixth. Nice play by Felix Isabel ends the threat. So the Chiefs had a hit and left a man on, but they didn't score a run. So going into the bottom of the sixth, Quebec still has that 10 to four lead and could end the game with a single run. They keep Quebec men encore 10 à 4 au fin de six. Leading off in the bottom of the six for Equipe Quebec is Charles Leclerc. He came in in the third, replacing the starting pitcher Alex Bergion. Leclerc's two for two. He must have heard us uh, saying that they'd miss Alex's bat, but Charles has been a more than capable replacement here, going two for two with two runs batted in. That pitch up in the zone for ball one. Certainement, si vous n'avez pas entendu Adam, je m'excuse à Charles. Quand il est rentré dans la partie, j'ai dit que la plupart du tournoi, Charles n'était pas 
dans la game pour son bâton. Puis, quand ils ont perdu Alex Bergeon, qu'on verrait si Charles serait capable, puis certainement, sans doute, il a été capable de bien frapper pour l'équipe du Québec avec deux frappés déjà. Clairement un athlète, Charles. De très bons athlètes sur les deux équipes. Tous les jeunes hommes ici cette semaine. And despite the heat and humidity and the fact that they're up six runs. Oh. Cloud sits on that change up, drives it to center. Kyle Weiss records the out. Despite the heat and humidity, the Equipe Quebec players are doing soft toss, practicing their hitting into a screen. They never Number quit 41. that group. Le numéro 41, Philippe Boucher. New batter here. Didn't hear about this change, but Philippe Boucher is now in to hit for Nathan Caron. Change up in there for strike one. fouled off, strike two. Alors, peu importe s'il compte des points ou non ici, l'équipe du Québec, seulement, excuse pas l'équipe du Québec, l'équipe de Ottawa Valley Chiefs ont seulement une dernière chance au bâton où ils doivent compter au moins six fois pour continuer la game. Et puis sinon, la partie sera finie. Et l'équipe du Québec avancera contre l'équipe de Saskatchewan de Lyle Pride. Here's the pitch from McCann. He gets some swinging. Two outs. That's McCann's third strikeout in an inning and two thirds of work. The first baseman, the joueur du premier but, le numéro 71, number 71, Sammy Paré. Sammy Paré now at bat. He's one for three. Scored a run as a stolen base. He started off last that inning's rally. in the zone for ball one. Kern wanting that strike call, thinking that the pitch is dropping in the zone, and home plate umpire Andrew Godin saying it's dropping after the plate. Ball two outside. That change-up's in there for a strike. 2-1 count. Again, leans, fires. Change-up in there for strike two. Sammy Paré fouls that one off, staying alive. Two and two. Two out. 
Two outs here, 2-2 pitch on the way from McCann. Down in the zone for ball three. Payoff pitch on the way from McCann. Put into play by Paris. Gonna use his wheels. And they get him at first. So that's what the Chiefs needed there was a 1-2-3 inning of no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. So after six complete, the score remains. They keep Quebec 10. Ottawa Valley Chiefs 4. Le Marc toujours et équipe Quebec 10. Ottawa Valley Chiefs 4. Le début de 7 commence plus tôt. Last chance here for the Ottawa Valley Chiefs in the top of seven. They have to score at least six to keep the game going. They're going to be leading off with Austin Eady. He's two for three. A pair of singles, scored a run, stolen a base, played some good defense out in right field. Chiefs need him to get on base to start things off here. Right part of the order here for the Chiefs to get the, work, or to get the job done. Cloud throws the first pitch strike. It's Austin Eady. Hello. One out. Cloud able to retire the speedy Eady. Dyson Cassidy coming up here. He's one for two. He hit a single and batted a run in in the third, and he walked in the fifth. L'équipe de Ottawa Valley Chiefs ne sont pas capables de compter au moins six fois. La game sera finie, puis Charles Leclerc serait le lanceur gagnant, je crois. Oui, oui. Cassidy checks and fouls that one off. So if the Chiefs aren't able to come back here, Charles Lecal would be the winning pitcher in line for the win, sorry. And Corey Baldwin in line to take the loss. That one foul down the right field side. Foul, out of play. Two strikes. Short off by Dutzil there at home plate on the ball, bring bop, the ball being brought back in. Well, I'll say that real fast five times. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Misses down and away. I believe it's one and two. 
I'm way off. Three balls, two strikes. Apologies, everybody. Trois balles, deux prises. Ball four. Apparemment que j'ai manqué des lancers, là. So the pitcher, Kurt McCann, is coming to the plate here now. He's one for three. He had an RBI in the third as well. Scored a run in that inning. He's a dangerous hitter. Certainly able to change the score with one swing of the bat. Big cut there. Well, one count. Sits back on that change. Can they double him off at one? They do, and they end the ball game on a double play beautifully. The final score, Quebec 10, Ottawa Valley. Vincent Gaudin, center field, Love caught that one on the line. Quebec fired it into Sammy Paré and doubled him up to end the game. Alors, l'équipe du Québec the termine game la partie. Is scheduled for 4.30. Une façon excellente. So your winning pitcher was Charles Leclerc in relief of Alex Bellegion. Your losing pitcher was Corey Baldwin, and he had relief from Kurt McCann. Equipe Quebec will now play against Team Saskatchewan at 7 o'clock, and that game will be live-streamed. Equipe Quebec, joué contre uh, le Saskatchewan à 19h, et le match sera... Live streamed. Oui, à 19h. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Félicitations à l'équipe du Québec. Bien fait par tous les joueurs et bon tournoi par l'équipe d'Ottawa Valley Chiefs. Great tournament played by the Ottawa Valley Chiefs as the host team here. And congratulations to them. And team Québec moves on.